dear students of talent atingel you are welcome to the online class or the virtual class of talent in english plus one today we are going to learn one of the lessons in your first unit that is i will fly the first unit is named as glimpses of greatness glimpses of greatness glimpses means a slight look towards greatness of people why do you study about great people and about their greatness and about their great deeds it is because the achievements of great people can inspire you and we and you in turn can be an inspiration to many we want great people in the present situation the world great people died they passed away we want great people from new generation so it is the duty of the society it is the duty of the government to mold new scientists and new workers in all fields we want their contribution for us and also for the future generation great people they have reached their greatness not in a day after long hard work they could achieve it we can quote the lines of kalpana chawla the daughter of the world the daughter of the milky way the citizen of the space kalpana chawla said about greatness she said the path from dreams to reality does exist if the path connects two points one is dream then it comes to reality they are connected dreams and reality are connected that path is seen if you can find out it so the path from dreams to reality does exist you should have a dream in your life dear students you should have a dream in your life what you would be in future according to your ability and skill you can become someone somebody in future who can contribute something for the world so everyone should have dream in their life if you have no dream in life if you have no wish in your life if you have no desire in your life you are like a, a butterfly with the broken wings then she said may you have the way to find it first of all you must have a dream then find out that dream 
then courage to get on to it you work hard with perseverance hard work work hard to achieve your dream that is the words of kalpana chawla we can take another great saying from winston churchill he said success is not final success is not final failure is not fatal it is the courage to continue that counts success and failure they are like the two sides of a coin they are a must if there is success another place there is another time there is failure so success don't consider if you have got success in your life if you got success in anything suppose in an examination you succeeded don't think it would be a final thing you will pass in you will succeed in every examination in this examination you passed but at the coming examination you may fail it don't center in a person so success is not final don't be proud of your success because failure is waiting for you mind in your you think of that so success is not final then if you taste failure don't think it is a fatal thing don't think it is decisive don't think it is determined by god it is only a chance you failed either or if sometimes you succeed sometimes you fail both are say we are going to study a poem next that is if in that poem the poet rudyard kipling says success and failure are two impostors they cheat the people so take them alike consider them alike don't give much importance to success or failure so winston churchill said success is not final failure is not fatal it is a courage to continue continue persevere persevere you continue your hard work perseverance is needed there you continue your work you will get a success in future success now we come to a point success is undoubtedly the fruit of perseverance success is the fruit of perseverance the great people they achieved greatness the great achievements of others can inspire us and we in turn can be an inspiration to many this unit glimpses of greatness contains certain lesson four lessons those lessons are about greatness they help us they are lives help you to follow them it will motivate you to fulfill your dreams and set your goals the second lesson in this 
first book is i will fly what is the title i will fly it is a speech delivered by our dearest scientist and statesman dr apj abdul kalam dr apj abdul kalam his full name is eul fakir jainul abdin abdul kalam a short profile is given in your test book it is about his birth his education his works awards etc so you can expect a question in your public examination writing a profile Dr APJ Abdul Kalam was born on 15th October 1931 in Rameswaram Tamil Nadu When and where was Dr Abdul Kalam born Dr Abdul Kalam was born on 15th October 1931 in Rameswaram Tamil Nadu He studied physics at the St Joseph's College Tiruchirappalli and aerospace engineering from at the Madras Institute of Technology Later he became a, an aerospace engineer with the defense research and uh, development organization that is known as drdo and indian space research organization that is isro he developed a ballistic missile and then after known as the missile man of india In 2002 he was elected as the president of India and continued on the chair till 2007 he has received several awards including Bharat Ratna the greatest civilian award in India the great man passed away on 27th july 2015 in shillong that is the profile of dr apj abdul kala the speech here titled as i will fly i is accompanied by will usually i we use shall with i i is first person i we are first person you second person he she it they etc are third person here with the first person we usually use shall i shall fly that is simple future but here he uses i will fly when we use like that it is a must i must fly that mean i will fly means i must fly. i will overcome any difficulty and i must fly that is the title of our lesson i will fly this is 
the title of a poem of a poet of 30th century his name is jalaluddin rumi a persian poet his poem is i will fly here doc the title of our lesson is taken from that poem i will fly besides a few lines also taken from i will fly with a slight change it is given at the end of the lesson the four lessons the four lines sorry the four lines given below the title i will fly is not taken from the poem i will fly these quatai quatai means four lines a stanza of four lines is called quatai this quatai these four lines when i wish upon a star makes no difference who i am anything my heart desires will come to me these are film lyrics these are film lyric film song this film song was written by lay hairline and net watching done for a film it was sung the film song was sung by cliff edwards for the character in the film jimmy cricket those four lines are given below what is the meaning of these four lines when i wish upon a star makes no difference who i am i must have a wish i must have a dream there is no need of my identity if i have desires through perseverance i can achieve my goal that is the meaning of the four lines the desires will come true i can realize my dreams if i work hard so everyone every one says if you want to get to greatness you should have dream hard work confidence support etc this is a speech delivered by Dr A P J Abdul Kalam I will fly Usually a speech begins with a salutation Here he makes a salutation dear friends He gives this salutation to the plus one students the students dear friends i realize how the contributions of the youth in the past have continuously contributed to the world of today in many fields i would like to assert that no youth today needs to fear about the future first of all he remembers the great deeds of young men in the past we don't forget the great deeds of great men in the past it was they who made this world as an eden as a heaven so we don't forget the great people who lived in the early time after remembering those people Dr Kalam gives 
I'm not sure and to you. He asserts. He states. He says. No youth today needs to fear. There is no need of a fear in your mind. About the future. What will happen in the future? Don't bother about the future. Why? He also gives the answer. Why don't you? Fear about future? Dr. Kalam gives the answer. The ignited mind of the youth is the most powerful resource on the earth, under the earth and above the earth. Everywhere. The ignited mind. The strong mind. The potential of the young people we have. That is the powerful resource on the earth, under the earth and above the earth. That means everywhere. Dear friends, I would like to talk to you on the topic, I am born with the wings. The topic he spoke at that time was titled, I am born with the wings. I am born with the wings is the line from I will fly. The poem, I will fly. He says, he is going to talk about the topic, the subject. I am born with the wings. What is the meaning of it? I am born with the wings means, what is wings? We have no, actually no wings. What is wings? It is a, it has a symbolic meaning. We are born with the potential. We are born with the special ability. I am born with the wings. Last year, I went to a village to, con to inaugurate a program called the Shastrayan. Then he remembers a, about a program he inaugurated the previous year. What was the program he inaugurated? That was Shastrayan. Which means the propagation of science, the spreading of science, giving publicity to science. What was the program he inaugurated last year? The program he inaugurated last year or the previous year was Shastrayan. What is the meaning of Shastrayan? Shastrayan means the propagation of science. The spreading of the importance of science to uh, even in the nooks and corners of village. That was the aim of the mission. The mission of Shastraya involves to ensure preparation of about 2,000 students from different schools. Select students from village schools. How many students? 2,000 students in which categories? Towards making them eligible to be engineers. Some of them were selected as engineers. Some of them scientists. Some of them doctors. Some of them qualified managers, civil servants, etc. They were selected on these categories. These categories are very important in a country. This action, what was the aim of this mission? This action or this mission would uh, in turn empower about 2,000 families. Each child come from, each child comes from each family. So, this selection of the students that empower 2,000 families of the village. For that purpose, 
they started a mission called the Shastrayan. It was Dr. Kalam who inaugurated the function. My inaugural address to mix set audience, the audience who assembled there included boys and girls, men and women. So it was a mixed group consisting of 5,000 students and their family members. What did he say? It was a mixed audience. The audience was consisted of students and family members. Pause on the topic. The topic was the topic of the inaugural address. Inaugural speech. Address here means speech. The inaugural address was about, uh, the topic was science impoverished the nation. 